Hi, my name is Miriam Evans, and I would like to share a supernatural story with you. When I was around 20 years old, I struggled with anxiety and panic attacks in a real way. And it really started when I was a kid. I would have these episodes of just torment and panic that would come in the middle of the night. And it felt like someone was on me, an invisible force was on me and choking me, and I couldn't breathe. And so when I was around 20 years old, I really had just switched my life completely, living for Jesus. I came into salvation. I accepted Jesus as my Lord and Savior. But unfortunately, things in the panic and in the torment area got worse. And so I was explaining this to my, at the time, my husband and I, we moved back to his hometown and I was explaining this to his pastor and, and, and the wife. And she told me, she said, honey, she said, have you received the baptism of the Holy Spirit? And I kind of felt like the believers in Acts chapter chapter 19, where they explained, you know, the baptism of repentance we've received, but who's the Holy Spirit? And that's kind of where I was at in life. I had received the baptism of repentance. I was baptized. I received Jesus as my Lord and Savior, but I was not aware of who the person of the Holy Spirit was. And so they prayed with me. I received a baptism of the Holy Spirit. I even received my prayer language to be able to speak in tongues. And I was so excited and happy about this. But later that evening, I went home and I woke up in the middle of the night. And again, an invisible force was on my chest, choking me. I felt just horrible feelings of panic and torment like I couldn't even breathe. And I was like, why is this happening to me again? Something's broken, like, what is this salvation? Isn't this supposed to be helping me? And then I heard the voice of the Holy Spirit speak to me very clearly. And he said, speak in tongues and see what happens. Now I will tell you, there was also a very dark voice that began to speak to me as I was saying these two simple syllables, just telling me, you know what? what you received is not real. I was filled with doubt. On one hand, I heard the Holy Spirit telling me to speak in tongues. On the other hand, I heard a voice telling me to doubt that everything that I received was not real. God wasn't real. His presence in the Holy Spirit wasn't real. And so I went ahead and just started mu just murmuring these two little syllables. And as I began to step out into faith and speak in tongues, in a language that didn't make any sense to my mind. I felt my room begin to fill with the presence of God as a violent rushing wind. It makes me think of the violent rushing wind that came in Acts 2 into the upper room. A violent rushing wind came into my room and begin to fill my room and it was a loud wind. And so much so that I began to grip on to the edge of my mattress because I felt like I was gonna blow away. And I know that God was entering me into this open vision. My husband was next to me and good for him. He slept through the whole thing. And so this wind was picking up in my room and God opened up my eyes to see in the spirit realm. And I saw what was behind. For the first time, I saw what was behind all of these panic attacks. And I saw demons filling my room with one that was trying to choke me. And the wind that was in my room completely blew every single demon out of my room. There was no contest. There was no question. The person of the Holy Spirit had been introduced to me in that way, in a very real way, in a very real manner for the first time in my life. And I wanna tell you that the next day I woke up, I slept like a baby, and the next day I woke up completely set free from panic, torment, anxiety, and I didn't even need my medication. And not only that, I because of the anxiety, because of the panic, I also had a lot of physical infirmities in my body. My back, the discs in my back needed healing. I had a neurological issue issue at the time that had caused the left side of my face to paralyze and droop along with excruciating headaches in the back of my head, all for which I was medicated for all of those things. And so later that week, I found that as I would spend time in God's presence and as I prayed, His glory, His manifest presence would come and visit me, whether I was in the shower or at home or in bed or even at church. And 
every time I came out of his presence, a different person. And so my body was healed. God began to heal my nerves. He began to heal the discs in my back. He had already delivered me and set me free from torment and anxiety. And through all of that, I had developed an addiction to prescription medication because of all of the medications that I had been on for at least three years. And so one night I went to bed and I woke up with cold sweats and I thought, God, I feel like I'm so sick right now. And I turned on the television and I was listening to a woman on the screen, a well-known minister. And she gave a word of knowledge and she said, I believe that someone is watching TV right now and you have a prescription drug addiction. And I feel like God is going to right now, where you're at, deliver you from that addiction. And I wanna tell you that I felt the fire of God, the presence of the Holy Spirit come over my body once again. And there was heat that just came on my body and He completely delivered me once again from the prescription drug medication. And so I'm telling you this and sharing these stories with you today because I believe that the same Holy Spirit that came into my life after I received Jesus as my Lord and Savior is the same Holy Spirit that you have access to today. So if you're watching and you have torment, you have anxiety, depression, if you're watching and you have addiction in your life or you have physical infirmities, whether it be cancer, back problems, headaches, any type of incurable disease, I want to tell you that Jesus is our Savior and Jesus is our baptizer. And when you receive Jesus in your heart and you confess with your mouth that He is Lord, that you know in your heart that the Holy Holy Spirit raised him from the dead and that he's alive today. I want to tell you that that's not the end of the conversation. The blood of Jesus gives you and I access to the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit is the one that we need to live the abundant life that Jesus promised that we could live. So I just pray for all of you watching right now that in the name of Jesus, that by his stripes that he shed on the cross, that you are here healed, that you are saved, that you are delivered. And I just pray, Holy Spirit, that the same way that you came through a television screen, that you came in the night watches of my life, that you would touch every person watching right now. And I just say, be healed in Jesus' name. Be set free from torment, anxiety, and depression in the name of Jesus. And I feel even right now that some of you are going to be healed. I even have faith that all of you watching this right now, that if you need a physical healing in your body and if you need healing in your mind from torment, that the power of the Holy Spirit is gonna set you free and heal your body right now. I see spines coming to alignment and discs just like myself. Right now, I even see tumors that are dissipating in the presence and the glory of God right now. And I just say, be healed from your infirmity in the name of Jesus. Rise up out of your sick bed. And I just release the joy of the Lord, the joy of the Holy Spirit to be your strength in Jesus name. Amen.